Hello YouTubers and fellow hams. Well, about three years ago I did this uh, video debunking the uh, flower pot candle heater. And uh, the target of that video were claims that I had seen that putting the flower pots over a candle somehow magnified the amount of heat that you got out of the uh, candle, generating more heat than you would get with just the candle by itself. A lot of people missed the point and uh, attacked me all kinds of other ways on the video, but that's fine. I expected that. Um, anyway, um, after doing that video, I wanted to do a follow-up video on uh, cost. I'd seen many claims, and I still see them today, um, that it's a very economical way to heat a room. Um, affordable, you know, cheaper even than other methods of heating. Uh, there are now a lot of places um, making and selling these heaters, and there is a huge number of people experimenting with them on the web. Let's uh, hop over here to the computer and uh, let's see how much it costs to heat with candles and how that compares to natural gas. So is it cheaper to heat a room with candles? Well, let's take a look at that. Now, there are lots of places that are selling these flower pot heaters now and uh, tons of people doing their own projects. As you can see here, uh, just a few Google image search captures. There are many, many, many people doing these things. Uh, some sites that sell the uh, terracotta heaters or can flower pot heaters, they will make claims. Uh, here's a quote from one site. A candle-powered way that provides a cheaper and more ecological energy. Cheaper and more ecological. Ecological? I don't know what they mean by that. Although I did see a comment on my other video from uh, somebody claiming that at least they weren't burning fossil fuels. Uh, well, guys, paraffin, the most common material for these candles, uh, comes from petrochemicals. It's made from crude oil. So, uh, yeah, you're burning fossil fuels. But as far as cheaper goes, well, in order to compare costs, we're going to need a unit of measure that's common to different fuel sources. And since we're talking about heating, the obvious thing to look at is the heat produced. Now you measure heat output with something called the BTU, or British Thermal Unit. A single BTU is defined as the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of one pound of water by one degree Fahrenheit. So we'll need to look at how many BTUs a tea candle produces over the full course of its life. And this has been well studied. Candle flames and the amount of heat they produce, well studied. The smaller flame from a tea light candle will produce on average 100 BTUs per hour. Sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less, but hey, 100 is a nice round number and it's easy to work with mathematically. Now, natural gas is priced in the markets based on a unit that's a number of BTUs. It's called a therm or a thermal unit. A thermal unit is 100,000 BTUs of heat. So that's how they're pricing natural gas. How much does it cost per thermal unit or per 100,000 BTUs of heat produced? So in order to compare, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to figure out how many tea candles it takes to produce one therm or one thermal unit. So if a tea candle is producing about 100 BTU per hour while it's burning, then we need to figure out how long these candles are going to burn and how much they cost. Searching around on the web, uh, I found lots of prices for bulk tea candles. Here's an example um, that's one of the better deals. Uh, seven, about $7, $6.99, okay, $7 for 50 uh, of these long burn tea candles, and they're rated to burn at six hours each. So we have a number. One candle produces approximately 600 BTU, 100 BTU per hour, six hours. 600 BTU. And if we figure the price of that candle, um, $7 for 50, so uh, $7 divided by 50 gives us 14 cents per candle. So, candle, candle price for heating, 14 cents per 600 BTU of heat. Great. All right, how many candles does it take to reach one thermal unit? 
well, 100,000 BTUs divided by 600 means it'll take about 167 candles to produce one therm of heat. Actually, 166.6666666666, but I rounded that up to 167. 167 candles to give us one therm of heat. 167 times 14 cents means that it takes $23.38 worth of candles to produce one therm of heat. That's not too bad. You know, $23.38 to give us 100,000 BTU? That sounds pretty good, doesn't it? So how about natural gas? Well, natural gas, as I said, is priced by the therm. And most energy companies will uh, give you the current market price. We're going to go here to uh, one of these gas companies' websites. And they've got a nice big calculator up here where you can figure out how much your appliance uh, is costing you to run it. But down here below, they show you the current market price of natural gas. And as you can see, it is presently 36 cents per therm. 36 cents worth of natural gas will give you the same amount of heat as $23.38 worth of candles. In other words, candles are 65 times more expensive than natural gas when it comes to heating. So there you go. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.